This is what it looks like. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Diana. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I post a new video. Welcome back, you guys. We are in the kitchen today because I'm gonna be trying or attempting. I saw this TikTok video of a tres leches cake and I was like, it seems pretty easy, like if that's how they always make them. Um, I mean, it's pretty easy, but we'll see how it tastes. We're gonna go ahead and try it out. I will go ahead and link the TikTok down below if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out. But I'm gonna go ahead and try making it. I love tres leches cake and I've been wanting to make some, but I was like, I can't eat it all by myself. So um, anyway, I'm still gonna make it. <laughs> But yeah, it's from uh, CC Soriano. Um, so I'm gonna go to follow her video. I'm gonna follow her recipe and see what she says. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and uh, let's start baking. Okay, so things that you will need is the yellow, the Betty Crocker yellow cake mix, can of sweet condensed milk, can of evaporated milk, some heavy whipping cream, uh, milk of your choice, and Sugar. The first thing I see that she does is she makes the actual yellow cake mix from the box. So to make this, you actually need um, a cup of water, half a cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs. You know what else I forgot? Actually, strawberries. She uses strawberries too. You're gonna take one yellow cake box mix, all the directions, bake it. Okay, so step number one, she says to follow the directions on the box and bake it, so let's do it. Make sure your hands are clean, of course, before you bake or cook anything. First things first, always remember to preheat your oven, you guys, okay? Easy box directions, right? One cup of water, half a cup of vegetable oil, and then three eggs. Not the biggest fan of eggs, like I'll have eggs, but not too much at once. And the mix, of course. Maybe that should have gone first. I don't know, it doesn't really say. And now we're gonna mix. You could mix it with um, a mixer, a hand mixer, if you would like, but I'm just gonna do it this way real quick. <laughs> pretty well mixed to me so we're gonna make it for about 28 to 33 minutes and then we'll come back to it and see what is the next step what I'm gonna do while I wait for it to bake is I'm going to wash and cut the strawberries that way everything can be ready by the time it comes up so here are my strawberries all cut up nice and ready to go for when it is um, done the oven is ready so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the pan that it's gonna go in so let's so now we just wait for it to be ready and see you guys in 30 minutes. <laughs> officially ready the oven was beeping at me so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out it smells really yummy look at it okay. so I'm gonna give it some time to cool down and then once it's done you're gonna cut all the crust off you can go ahead and snack on that poke holes through the inside so the next step is just cut all the crust off and poke holes with forks all over the cake so let's do that <laughs> And then we're gonna shake it up and pour it all over the cake. So now 
that it's all mixed, we're gonna go ahead and pour it over the cake. And then we're gonna wrap it up and we're gonna throw it in the fridge for a couple hours at least. Okay, so now she said to wrap it up and put it in the fridge for a couple hours and then I will be back and finish it off to do the whipping cream top with the strawberries. So, fingers crossed, let's hope it tastes good. Okay guys, I'm back. It's been a couple hours now. As you can see, it's nighttime, so I brought out my ring light. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the cake and uh, let's see, we're gonna do the whipping cream thing that goes on the top with the strawberries. And then it'll be done and then we can actually try it and see if it tastes good. Do a little taste test. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, well it smells really good. The next step is the heavy whipping cream and three spoonfuls of sugar or however much sugar you want to add. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so here goes the heavy whipping cream. Three spoonfuls of sugar. Uh, should I add a fourth one? I'll do like a little bit more than three. Let's try it. See, it takes a while, so you kind of just have to be doing it for a while. But um, I'm finally getting there. So this is what you guys want to have. Very thick. Um, at first it was a little watery, but it's because you just have to keep uh, going and just keep mixing it with the mixer. We're almost done! So we're going to put this on the cake, and then we're going to put the strawberries on the top. Definitely, if I do this again, I'll definitely use less for the topping. You probably could just use whipped cream if you want. This is what it looks like. And we're gonna put the strawberries on top and then we should be done. Ah. Ooh, it looks pretty. It's looking fancy. This is what it looks like. I did it. Um, okay, now let's, should we try it? I wanna try it, I really wanna try it. I really wanna know if it, if it tastes really, really good. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this, um, if I follow the directions well. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I think I did, did a good job following instructions. All right, guys, that was really good. I really enjoyed it. You guys should definitely try it. It's pretty simple. Kind of just takes a little bit to get done. For my liking, I probably would do less whipping cream on the top for the next time I do it. It does take some patience because you have to get it, um, you have to like do it <laughs> and then you have to put it in the fridge to let the milk soak into the like the bread and then you have to bring it back out to do the the topping and it does look pretty with the strawberries on top and the strawberries are pretty good if you choose like sweet ones um but yeah you guys it's gonna go to bring me to the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time i post a new video i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye